Hello, this is the Pharaoh with usastrojacks.com and atclub.net. Today, we are not getting back to basics, and I'm going to teach you the trick, the extreme orbits. Once again, as usual, I will show it to you, show the trick, put it in slow-mo, and then I'll explain what's going on. So it is a little complicated, and it is it is one of the is one of the hardest orbits to control. Okay, so what what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with your typical vertical orbit. Now what's going on is instead of bouncing, instead of pulling on the ball, you're actually throwing the center ball into a loop around. You know you're trying to keep it in this circle, okay? So the way this is done, this is done one of two ways, depending on which jacks you're using. If you're, there's two, there's two schools of thought to this trick. There's one school of thought, which is primarily used with the plus because the uh, foam balls have a better grip on the string than do the Aqua and Aqua, VMAX, MX, Saturns, you know, all the plastic, all the plastic vortex ones. So, your school of thought with that is just to kind of guide it around in a circle, keeping these, keeping the center ball and the end ball that you're not holding at the same, at the same string length as it's rotating around, okay? Um, I do not have a set of plus on me, so I can't, unfortunately, cannot show you that, but if you watch how I do it with the, with the MX, you'll be able to interpolate and see, extrapolate, interpolate, whatever and see exactly the best way to do it with your plus. Now, for the MX and especially the Aquas, this way to do it is the best way to do it for the Aquas. I actually recommend you learn with Aquas if you, if you have them lying around because the center vortex is pure plastic and that allows it to just fly along the string and that makes this technique a lot easier to do, okay? So what you're doing, just think about it with the Venus. With the Venus, the Venus is kind of the same way to start learning how to do it because you're learning how to manipulate the center ball while it's still on the string, okay? So now, with the, uh, actually a good way to learn how to do this is to learn how to do an infinite Venus, okay? Because what's going on with an infinite Venus is you are forcing the two, the end ball and the center ball, you're forcing control over the middle ball while trying to keep it at an equidistant the equidistant string well you're trying to keep the string from the center ball to the end ball constant okay so now so let's go this way so now with the extreme orbits you are controlling the center ball and you're actually kind of throwing it using the string tension into an orbit. So like I said, it takes a while to get used to because it's a completely different feeling than what you're most likely used to, but it's a lot of fun because it's another one of those great optical illusion tricks where if you have a light up set like the Saturn or the Blue Diamonds, it's, it's literally like you just have this circle going on. Like you have the two, the two balls chasing each other somehow. Okay, so like I, like I said, this is one of those things where you just have to learn how to feel it because it is completely different, but once you get it, you can just keep it going. All right, so this is the feral.com, the feral.com, wow, that was bad. This is the feral with usastrojacks.com, babyclub.net. I hope you have a wonderful day.